we want to thank you for purchasing the T-Edge Sterilizer by Tuttenauer. In this video, we will review the basic setup operation and scheduled maintenance you need to know to ensure you get the most out of your T-Edge for many years to come. Please note that this video is not intended to take the place of the detailed operation and maintenance instructions detailed in the operator's manual. We highly recommend that you read the operator's manual carefully before installing and operating your T-Edge. Now that the machine has been placed on the countertop and plugged into a 115 volt dedicated 15 amp circuit and the semi-automatic power switch in the back left of the machine is turned on and then the primary power switch in the front is also turned on for the very first time, what you will see is a setup screen. We're looking at that right now. It will ask what language you would like and we will pick English and just hit set. It will remind you to remove all of the contents and packaging material that's in the chamber and in the reservoir. Make sure you remove all of those, those contents. Now we're just going to hit that confirm button and it asks us to set the date and the unit will automatically pick up the date and the time and it does it in military time where we would just have to set this um, up or down to whichever your time is and have that displayed for the uh, date and time. Then we will hit set. And then what we're going to do under the company details would be the company that either you purchased your sterilizer from or you can put down your practice name. We're just going to tap the screen here and I'm going to call this just uh, test. And I hit the check mark and I'll enter in an email and that would just be one, two, three, four at one, two, three, four dot com. Okay, so now what we're going to do is set up the Wi-Fi configuration. This is very important. This is what allows our T-Connect to be able to remotely monitor and provide technical assistance on this machine and read all of its um, uh, cycle history. You just choose the actual Wi-Fi that you want, enter the actual um, the, uh, password for that Wi-Fi, and then you set that up. So we'll, uh, for right now, it's already set up in our example. So I'm going to skip that. And then this is the portion where you have a autofill water or a printer connected to it. Uh, autofill is going to allow you to connect an RO water system to your machine and never have to buy bottled water and, and put it in it or leave it manual. So you can say, enable or disable just by leaving it enabled. So we'll say it's okay and we'll set that. And then it's gonna go through a brief tutorial video showing you exactly uh, how to care for the machine daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. And it's also going to show you how to access the menu to choose a cycle and proceed with using the machine. Okay, now that we have the machine placed on a countertop capable of holding it um, by your dealer typically, uh, what they would have done also is have this plugged into a dedicated 115 volt, 15 amp circuit um, for your main power. And on the back of the machine is a semi-automatic on-off switch that's kind of like a circuit breaker to the back of the machine. And that always will stay in the on position. And then in the front of the machine, you will have your main power switch right here that you'll turn on. As you turn that on and off, 
during the day and night each day to turn it on and off with that switch, um, you'll hear the machine start to warm up and make some noises, uh, which are some various different components within the machine to start heating up and getting ready for operation. So what you're going to do is turn this on and off each day with that switch and you leave this main switch in the back always in the on position. Now we're going to talk about the actual display and what you see on the display here. And it's telling us um, a variety of things and status of this machine. So on the very top, what you're gonna see up here is a home button. And that home button will allow you to go from any submenu back to this home screen. And then right next to it is a little drop down menu. And this drop down menu has a lot of great little features in it and sub menus on it. One of the uh, great features that you'll notice, there is a letter I. That I is for information. And what you can do with that is just by pressing that, it will take you to another screen where you'll see a QR code. And what you can do with that QR code is take a cell phone and take a picture of that QR code and it will take you directly to a YouTube website where you'll receive, you'll get full audio and the uh, tutorial instructions from that QR. But let's just say you wanna run through it right now and look at it right on the display. You'll see right on the display here, um, it will walk through your daily, weekly, um, monthly and periodic maintenance that would be needed to be done on the machine. So you don't ever have to worry about remembering the YouTube address or, um, or, or having that QR code. It's right on the front of the, the, on, of the display of the machine. So I'll exit out and go back to my home button. Along, uh, going along the top status bar here, you'll see that there is the PSIG, that's the pressure of inside of the machine. You don't really need to worry about that much. Um, you're going to then see the temperature of the chamber uh, and you'll notice it's heating up. The moment we turn this on, the chamber heats up, okay? Um, which is a very good point right there. Uh, you wanna verify when this is on that you open it up and that there are no uh, residual um, contents in the chamber, uh, whether it be from the packaging material or if this is later on in the life of this unit and maybe somebody left some contents in it from a cycle prior. As you're unpackaging the shipping contents that's inside the chamber, you'll notice these little rubber bumpers. They're um, in place to minimize the scratching of the tray holder going in and out of the chamber. It's normal to leave those on. They can handle the heat of the sterilization cycle. So just make sure you leave those on. But what if you're actually using cassettes? Well, the unit comes equipped with this actual, the tray holder, which can slide very easily in or out. So when we cover the maintenance, you'll see how easy that is to come in or out. And it can be rotated as well based on the size of cassette you would like to operate. So we have a cassette, for example, right here, can be put in sideways this way, or if I had a larger cassette, I can feed, fit it in this way as well. So they will stack right on here. So this one tray, this one rack, is capable of handling the five trays that come with it, or remove the five trays, and then you could either put in your cassettes horizontally or vertically based on the size of cassette that you have. Uh, so, so the next step is going to be, you'll see there's a S or a B here, and that's just an indication of what this sterilizer is equipped to be. It can be what we call a class S sterilizer or a class B. It's the only one of its kind that can be um, manipulated between the two types of sterilizers. Then we see these two looking, uh, two teardrop looking uh, icons here. What these icons are, are a reflection of the two water reservoirs that are in the top of the machine. The water reservoir on the left is my clean water reservoir. That's where we're going to put the water 
distilled water, by the way, distilled mineral-free water into that reservoir. And then what that's going to do when after each cycle, it takes that wasted water and pumps it up into its wastewater reservoir. This uh, will take just a little bit more than one gallon of water. It's about a gallon and, and a quarter or so. It's actually 155 ounces, which is, like I said, a little more than a gallon. And you should be able to get between, uh, depending on the cycle type you choose, eight to 10 cycles uh, per um, full chamber, okay? So what I'll do right now, I'll just put my lid back on and we'll take this off and pour the water into this hole right here. All right, so we wanna just make sure we fill it up. I had this already preset, makes it easy with one of our Tuttenauer distillers. Uh, so if you don't wanna continue to buy distilled water, we offer a distilling machine. So now my teardrop is turned, has gone from red to blue. It's telling me that that reservoir is full and I'm ready to go with that. Now what we're going to do is pick one of the programs that's on the display. There are, uh, there are a couple screens here and to see both screens, you could choose the right or left arrows right here. And uh, that will, that's where you'll find your cleaning screen and you'll have wrapped instruments, unwrapped instruments. And it's important to note that at this stage right now, you wanna make sure that the contents you're going to put into the sterilizer have been pre-cleaned and are dry whether they be pouched or, or unwrapped uh, or wrapped, but they should be um, cleaned, whether it be through a instrument washer system, or uh, which Tuttenauer sells, or a uh, traditional ultrasonic, which we also offer. But at this stage now, the instruments are dry and ready to be sterilized, and I can pick any of these programs right here. And it's important to know that the door just needs to be open for me to pick a program. So if I have the door and it's closed and I go to pick a program, it's gonna say the door's not open. So you, you, you just, at that stage, just open the door and you'll say, okay, here, now I wanna pick this program. And this brings me to one last screen before it starts. And it's telling me right here the cycle time. It's gonna show the cycle time by the clock. Uh, so while it's operating, I'll see the actual, how much time's left in the cycle. And at, at this stage too, it allows me, if I wanna customize this program and maybe add some of the drying time. And then we also have our um, proprietary virus protect option. And I encourage you to click the link at the bottom of this video to learn more about that virus protect. It's a Tutenauer exclusive and something that we really believe in. So now at this stage, I just close my door here and I say start. And from this stage on, what you're going to see occur is a status symbol starting to develop and you'll hear that our unit right now is going to start um, taking some of the air out of the chamber, and it, which is all normal, and it's starting to get ready for its sterilization cycle. Now, you may say, uh-oh, I needed to put something else in there, and you want to abort the cycle? That's completely fine. You could just hit stop and hit stop on it, and it will stop the cycle in mid-cycle. And it will depressurize what it just pressurized in the chamber. It'll take a little bit to shut down. But it's letting us know also that there was a cancellation and it was canceled uh, by the operator. Okay, so this is all fine and normal. You can do that. Um, but what that will do is that will be recorded in the actual um, process uh, of uh, the memory that this unit has on board. Okay, so what happened was we just aborted the cycle and we confirmed that we actually aborted it. Sometimes uh, if there was a problem, it will uh, also abort the cycle that, and it will tell you why it did it, um, whether there was an error with the voltage to the unit or something else, um, but there'll always be a display and it will tell you what, why it occurred. 
But at this stage right now, we're back to our regular home screen and we can just pretend that we didn't abort it and this is what you would do at the conclusion of a cycle. It would show you on the front of the screen that it was complete and it would be a big green okay on there, giving you the thumbs up that it's all done. And now at this stage, I would just open my door and we provide you with this little spatula that's kind of intended to meant to remove your trays. So if they're hot, you don't want to have to touch them. They just fit right on there and you can slide them in and out. Okay. And then you'll remove your contents. And when you're done with that, before it's ready to go, it's, we recommend either just leaving the door closed like this or fully closed. Okay, so we reviewed putting the water into the clean water reservoir and that after each cycle, that water gets pushed up into the dirty water reservoir. Eventually, the dirty water reservoir is going to fill up and it will let you know that it's full when the teardrop on the right here on the front display is red and that it's time to drain it. And to do that, if you uh, don't have it set up to an automatic drain and you're going to manually drain it, it's very simple to do. This hose comes standard with this. I just grabbed a container here and I just put it right into this quick disconnect until it snaps in and then the water will drain right into it automatically. And you'll notice that when it's fully empty, the teardrop just shut off and went from red to clear. Now we're going to get into the maintenance that's required. There's daily maintenance, weekly maintenance, uh, monthly maintenance, and periodic maintenance. So the first step is going to be the daily maintenance. You're going to take a lint-free cloth with a mild soap detergent and just clean the gasket on the outside and underneath it. There's like a little lip there. And then just inspect it to make sure that there are no cuts in it, no check marks or indentations. You want it to be nice, nice clean and pristine. And we want that clean because we want it also to, uh, for this flange to be nice and clean right here. Because what we're gonna do is create a seal of that right onto this here. So with that same detergent, just wipe this down and make sure there's no debris or anything there. That's your daily maintenance, it's real simple. Now, we're gonna get to the weekly maintenance. After you do that right there on the, uh, which we just reviewed on the uh, door gasket, now what you're going to do is either weekly or every 25 cycles, you're going to use a system cleaner, T-System Clean. So you're going to use the System Clean tablets, which is a tablet that will go in the clean water reservoir, and then you will run that cycle at the beginning of the day. Okay, so this is your weekly maintenance. You wanna do it in the morning before the machine gets too hot, you don't want it to be um, after, right after a cycle. Uh, so we want to do it early and everything is done there. At the end of that cycle, what you'll do is you're just going to lean inside here and you're going to unscrew your little water filter, okay? And just inspect that this is not getting clogged in any way. And you can just scrub this with a soft toothbrush and uh, let it air dry before you put it back in. And it just has to be hand tightened. Just put it right back in and tighten it up. And then our periodic cleaning is really just observing anything on the outside of the machine. You can wipe it down with uh, mild detergent, uh, soap and water, um, and just inspect that there is nothing discoloring or, or see any, any marks on it and just, just clean the machine off. So one of the features of the new T-Edge is that um, the door will not open unless there's power to it. So what happens if the power goes out and you have sterile instruments in the sterilizer that you want to get, get access to? It's real simple. All you need to do is get yourself a little small screwdriver similar to this one that you would like repair a pair of glasses with. And you're going to come to the machine and in the back of the machine here is a steam relief valve. 
it with a little ring on it. You're just going to pull that and that will depressurize the chamber. And then what you're going to do is take this screwdriver and put it in this little hole right here. And you're just going to push it in and push down to the left and the door will open up for you. Thank you for watching. For additional information, please see the user manual. For technical support, please contact Tutnar.